Hello, welcome to our second video. So this video is about the basic terms in graph theory. Let's start with the basic term graph. What is a graph? A graph is a collection of points called vertices or nodes and connecting segments called edges. Sometimes the edges are given orientation and are represented by arrows or are given values called weight. The position of the vertices, the length of the edges, and the shape of the edges do not matter in a graph. What we look at is the number of vertices and which of them are joined together by edges. Let's have an example. This is an example of a graph. We have six vertices, namely vertex A, vertex B, C, D, E, and F. And we have eight edges. So to name the edges, we have A, B, A, D. These are the lines actually. We have B, D. Okay. Then we have B, C. We have B, E. C, D. Another C, D. That's another different line. And we have B, E. There is also what we call equivalent graphs. These three graphs that you can see here are actually equivalent. Why they are equivalent? Because they have the same number of vertices and the same, the same number of edges. And how these vertices are connected are the same. As you can see here, A is connected to B. You can see here also the second graph that A is also connected to B and A is connected to B. And you have noticed also in the first graph that vertex B is connected to all other graphs. As you can see here and here. Okay? So, it's actually the connection that matters. Okay? Or the, how they are related to each other. So, this is what we call equivalent graphs. Another term is a loop. A loop is an edge connecting a vertex to itself. In this graph, there's the loop in vertex B. If you want to have other loop, we can actually draw. We can have a loop here for vertex A. You can also have a loop here for vertex B if you want. Okay? Or if any other uh, vertices or vertex. Another one is multiple edges. If two vertices are connected by more than one edge, these edges are called multiple edges. In this uh, graph, it's actually vertices C, D, okay? C and D. So the edges that connect vertex C and D are multiple edges. There are two lines connecting the two vertices we can also add one more edge if you want and that become, that's still multiple edge, edges if we connect an, uh, this a and b here uh, there's another edge that connects a and b that will become a multiple edges okay adjacent edges uh, two edges are adjacent if they, uh, they share a common vertex. Okay, so to name an edge, we need to have two vertices. Let's say, for example, uh, edge A, A, B. Okay, this one is adjacent to actually B, C because they have common vertex. It's actually vertex B. It can also be uh, adjacent to B, E, okay, set. Then another one, let's say for example, uh, edge uh, C, D. Edge C, D is adjacent to C, D. Because they have common vertex, that's vertex C. If we have the edge E, D, we have it here. That is adjacent to ED. Is there any other edge adjacent to ED? 
uh, aside from EV, there's none because there's only two lines or edges connecting uh, or actually uh, connected to vertex B. Okay. Simple graph. A graph is called a simple graph if it has no loops. So there's no loop and there's no multiple edges. We call the graph a simple graph. 